In this video, I'm going to talk to you about a big problem you can have with grafted passion fruit. They're a beautiful plant, but man, they have one serious problem that can be a lot of work for you in the future. So stick around and check out what it is. G'day everybody, it's Daz here from my Aussie Garden and Kitchen, Garden Edition, and today I'm going to talk to you about suckers, passion fruit suckers, and how much of a problem they are and how much of a problem they can be, how you get them and how to avoid it. All right, straight to the point. Suckers are a vine that comes out of the root stock of a grafted passion fruit. They become very invasive. They'll take over your plant. They'll creep out into the garden in the most painful places like cracks and crevices. They will appear meters, feet away from the actual plant itself. They're a painful thing to have. I've had them in the past. That's why I'm bringing this to your attention now and I'll give you some examples. I can show you some examples from my personal own experience and we'll talk about how we can still have a beautiful passion fruit plant like this and even though we might have the risk of suckers, we can avoid it and minimize the risk by doing what I do here. Now a grafted passion fruit plant is where the nursery will take a really strong stock of passion fruit, a species that's going to grow hardy and strong and, and then they'll take the desired passion fruit that you want, say a common black passion fruit, and they'll chop off the bottom of the other plant, they'll chop off the bottom of the plant that you actually want and they'll make say a V-shape and they'll splice them together, they'll join them together and they will actually fuse together and then the two plants will join into one plant. So you'll then have a plant that is a grafted plant, which has got the roots and about maybe say this much of a trunk at the bottom of the original hardy tough plant. And then the top section that you'll see grow and have beautiful foliage and fruit like I've got, that will be from the other plant. And hopefully if you look after it, you'll get the most beautiful passion fruit, flowers before the passion fruit, and you'll just have such a great time. Now, unfortunately, what can happen in sandy soils and if the, the grafted passion fruit is stressed is that that bottom section, that root stock, the strong stock, that can become domineering and it wants to take over and it can shoot out vines of its own. And those vines will just creep up and they'll grow through your passion fruit and they'll take over. And then Sometimes they won't give fruit, other times they will give fruit, but unfortunately the fruit is quite often horrible. I've had an issue where I had a banana type passion fruit grow and it was disgusting and that came from that root stock. It actually overtook because I didn't know years and years ago about the situation with suckers. With these sucker vines, you go and you dig them up, you rip them out, but unfortunately underground, they're still trying to grow and they just come back and come back. And I've read comments from people on forums and talked to people personally where they've had the passion fruit actually die off and disappear and the suckers actually grow still in the ground 10, 15 years later. Suckers really can be controlling and dominant in the yard and really take over. And you can see here in this example, this is a bunch of suckers that came from next door's passion fruit under their shed, up the side of the shed, and it was left unchecked by the neighbours. That was before we moved in here. And you can see those thick vines that really took over and grew. And what happened was when I moved in and built and then got my orchard started, they just kept on coming up from under their shed and growing over my orchard and shading out, climbing over the bird netting. It was just insane. And you can see, if you look closely, I actually sawed some off with a saw, they got that thick, but they just kept on coming back and it took me a long time to control them. Finally, the neighbours actually removed their passion fruit and they poisoned it. And what happened was that actually killed off everything. So you can poison suckers, but unfortunately you're going to poison the rest of your plant too. So unfortunately, the best thing to do with suckers is rip them out, but if they're in the ground and they've set in their way, they're going to come back and it's just something you have to manage over time which really can be painful. This video here is of a relative's passion fruit vine against their shed. Now suckers are taking over and they weren't aware about what happens with suckers so I've told them all about what to do and like I said they're really starting to take over and if you look closely you can see there's two types of vines here. You've got your passion fruit vine 
Now, a normal passion fruit vine is going to have its three leaves, a, a three sort of pronged leaf. And it might have a few odd shaped leaves, but generally you've got that nice light green three pointed leaf. The suckers are going to be, in most cases, a darker vine with a darker leaf. And those leaves generally have five five prongs, five points on them, from what I can understand. So as you can see in this picture here, there's a quite a bit of a difference between the two. So those suckers are the ones that you want to rip out as much as you can, get right down into the ground as much as you can and get them out. So these sucker vines are well established on this relative's plant and they're really gonna have to get in there and dig them out. But looking at it, I'd say the suckers are well and truly entrenched under the ground in the root system. And it's gonna be a bit of a battle for them to keep control of them. So all they can do now is get in there, rip them out, hope for the best. Hope they don't spread to other parts of the yard, but oh boy, I'm glad my plant doesn't look like that. So as you can see here with my vine, I've got a small sucker vine coming out from the rootstock at the bottom. It's very hard to see the graft of my plant now because my plant's getting older and it's scarred and it, it's got maybe a bit of sunburn from being exposed to the sun for all the last few years. But sure enough, my grafted passion fruit has started to sucker. So thankfully what I've done is I've planted it into a pot. Now, I've got sandy soil, which is not great for a grafted passion fruit because there's the risk of suckers, but I get a lot of frosts here. So I've actually gone for a grafted passion fruit, which was only the only type of passion fruit available at the time of buying them. And what I've done to try and minimize my risk and minimize the problem of these sucker vines growing everywhere is I've planted it into a pot. And as you can see in my video from about two years ago, it's been quite successful. I haven't had suckers until now. I was just starting to weed the pot the other day. I noticed this first sucker coming out. So I started picking off the leaves just for fun and slowly killing it. And then I was thinking, I should record this and show you. So here's what's left of that sucker. I'm gonna carefully break that off and I'm going to put it in a plastic bag and put it in my rubbish bin and get rid of it. And hopefully I'll get no more coming out of this container or this pot. Now by growing in the pot, I'm containing the roots and the root system to the pot. So with the suckers, they can only come up from the top of the pot and I can get rid of them from the container at will and not worry about them spreading out through the yard. Now with the pot though, I need holes in the bottom for drainage. So what I've done is I've actually set the pot on the ground with a few layers of a builder's plastic, dark black plastic underneath. So should any try and come down through the holes underneath, they're going to hit that plastic and they really don't have anywhere to go. That's the plan. I would like to get maybe some cement sheet or something like that to put underneath. But for now, I've got the black plastic and that's working so far. I really do recommend that you check out this other video here. That's going to take you to my other passion fruit video that's done really well on YouTube. Hopefully that's going to help you out. Thank you so much. Good luck with your passion fruit and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye.